Hello everybody and welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and I forgot to mention this when I was talking about uh, how the Grums cut up, but also another part of it is they're also more willing to cut things out than I am. Like specifically on the level Inflated Ego, they actually cut out a lot of his attempts at that because they were, uh, because they were on it for a while and they were like, all right, well, we'll just, we'll just cut out the attempts. And you know what? That's, that's fine. You know, I get that. It's, that's how they do it. But I don't like doing that as explained in the previous episode. So, you know, I'm not going to go over it again because you know, theoretically, if you're watching this episode, you probably watched the last episode, right? I don't, I don't see why you would watch this episode, not the other one. Especially since this is labeled like Pyramid of Patience Part 3 or something like that. I think this actually it's probably Part 2. Ow. Maybe it's Part 3. I think it's Part 3. Because I beat... Yeah, I beat... The Rude Sandstorm in the first episode of this batch. So yes, this would be Pyramid of Patience Part 3. Good job me on figuring that out. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, yeah. So... That, all, that does interest me, you know, how many people watch videos out of order. And to talk about the Grumps again, uh, that's another thing that's kind of been bugging me recently is how they don't number their episodes anymore. So it's if you're not following day to day, then it's kind of hard to figure out like which episode comes first. Unless you're like if it just pops up in your recommended. Like, it's, it's hard to be like, oh, is this, where is this in the series, you know? I like to see, you know, I, that's another thing I like in watching videos, is I like to watch things sequentially, so I feel like having things numbered is, is neat. I don't really like th watching things out of order, because then I feel like things don't make quite as much sense. Like, you know, if I talk about my policies on... Cutting things out of videos in one episode. In the next episode, I reference talking about it. If you hadn't watched that episode, then you wouldn't know <laughs> what I actually said about it. Anyway, you get the point. And to be fair, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm no stranger to being out of the loop. But that doesn't mean I don't try to avoid it anyway. I do feel like I am left out of the loop a lot of the time, though. Largely because I just don't really engage in gossip. Or at least I try my very best not to. I think I'm decently successful at it. So, you know, a lot of the times... Because I'm not participating in gossip, people don't tell me gossip. So pretty much everything I know is what I've overheard. Which is not always everything. Frequently, it's not everything. So, yeah, you know. I get left out, but it's whatever. Actually, genuinely, it's whatever. Should have gone there. It's fine. We'll make it work. Oh, okay. I might have been able to squeeze through there, but oh well. We're good to go. We're good to go. Man, this is a real, real long stretch here without a checkpoint. And I get that it probably only feels long because there's so much waiting involved. But it is... It does f certainly feel long. And this is... Speaking of cutting things out of episodes, I imagine, and this is, this is just a prediction, but I'm guessing they're gonna, <laughs> the Grumps are gonna cut some out of this level. Cause, yeah, there's a whole lot of waiting. The only way I could see them keeping it is if Aaron actually just goes insane, so. <laughs> yeah, and she very well could, you know? That was a bad time to do that, but it's fine. Probably better than... What was I thinking there? Uh, 
Ah. See, it's what's messing me up is the cycle switch there. The first two crushers, crusher spots are synced up, and then the other two are synced up with each other, and not the first two. So it's it's weird. It's weird, you know. Also, to comment on someone else's video again, uh, one thing I noticed about their... <laughs> I guess this is just a Grumps in Review video now. One thing I noticed happens a lot in Aaron playing games in general, because actually, I, I would say it's... I've noticed this just in Mario Maker, but having watched the Grumps for literally years, uh, <laughs> he does this in a lot of games, but... He has a tendency to overthink things. <laughs> like, a lot of the time, he'll, uh, he'll think things are a lot more complicated than they are when it comes to games. A lot of times, the, like, one of, one of the things that was amusing when I was watching Ross watch the Grumps play Grumps, I, okay, did, I just had the thought, does it strike anyone weird that I am making a video talking about watching a video of someone else watching a video. You know what I feel? It, it's been done before, but like... <laughs> weird, weird how meta this gets. Anyway, as I'm saying, Ross was watching The Grumps, and it was... what was the level? Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom was the level. And there was, there was that part at the end of the level where you have to have the frog suit to get through, right? There's like multiple whirlpools. And the first couple times Aaron got there, he failed because he overthought. And as Ross said, like all he had to do was hold right. But he didn't because he was afraid that because the clown car pushed the spiny into a weird spot. So he thought he was like, yeah. yeah. He was afraid to get hit by the spiny because maybe he needed the frog suit still I get in his head, I guess. But yeah, he he overthought it is the point. And because he overthought it, he failed. And it's it's that's that happens regularly when he plays. And if you go from watching this to watching the grumps, you'll probably notice it. As opposed to me. I probably underthink things a lot. <laughs> no, actually, I, I feel like I tend to think things through. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to judge yourself on these sorts of things, even if you're recording yourself playing and watching yourself play. I feel I, I don't I don't feel like I can be <laughs> that good a judge of my own play, even though I watch myself play all the time. I guess that's one difference between the Grumps and me and uh, <laughs> that I edit my own videos. It's, 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 that's one difference. I mean, you could argue that there's another difference in that you know, they have a few million subscribers. Well, I have a few dozen, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a big difference. <laughs> it's, it's basically the same. Like, definitely, definitely the same quality, too. Yeah. Ah, it's definitely not drinking water to uh, <laughs> distract from the fact that I'm not nearly successful enough yet. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to beat this level now. This time. This is the run. This is the episode. This is the run. Ow. Ah, well, I was, I was still right about that first part. This is the episode of it. Maybe it, but like, it's not, it's maybe, not, not that run, but like, definitely this episode. For sure. For sure. <sighs> All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. You know, I talked about earlier, ow, how sometimes I'm not always feeling up to record, and I was kind of... I was kind of hesitant to record tonight. Not necessarily because I was in a bad mood or anything, because, I, but because I am actually, you know, not actually at 100% right now. Uh, I managed to 
I managed to push some earwax onto my eardrum, which is great. Which means that my left ear now feels incredibly clogged and like I can't hear as well out of it as normal because I'm the earwax on the drum. <clears throat> and this is a problem I've been having quite a bit recently. It's my ear clogging up, specifically the left one. And it's kind of annoying, and I should probably see a doctor about it, but I don't really want to see a doctor till after I get my COVID vaccine, so I don't like how these cycles are lining up. Uh, what? I, I, I feel like the cycles there ended up lining up in a way that they... it's actually impossible. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. I'm gonna wait another cycle. Wait for that. Now go. Because I think that might have been what messed up things before. I, I, I just totally mistimed that. I wasn't even really... My my eyes just kind of... My vision just kind of blurred for a second. And I wasn't even really looking at the screen. And I was just going based on feel. And it didn't work. And I mentioned that I'm curious what the speedrun of this level is, looks like. But I'm curious, actually, to what a speedrun of this entire super world looks like. Because I'm per someone's probably doing it, right? Like, someone's probably speedrunning this whole world. And I, I, I'm curious, you know, it's, it's basically any time I play hey, hey, something, I'm like, I'm curious what the speed run looks like. Like, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you've probably heard that quite a bit, but it is equally true here. I'm just very, very curious. So, you know, I like to see, I like to see games played optimally. More or less optimally, I suppose. Which is why I like to see speedruns. But I like, guess I don't like speedruns enough to actually like go out of my way to watch them. Like I'll typically sh watch them if they show up in my recommended, but not like I don't I don't I don't spend a lot of time watching speedruns. In fact, I probably spend more time doing speedruns than I spend watching them. We got it this time. Ah, I do have... I do believe I have over 50 runs done in Mega Man X. And you don't see all of them on the channel because I'm only putting up the personal best. That's one instance in which I'm actually cutting things out because that would be a lot to upload if I didn't. Although my runs now are only like 45 to 50 minutes, which is... Frankly, not as long as some episodes of EHG, but yeah, uh, I don't, I, I feel like, I feel like people aren't as interested in the runs. I mean, here's the thing, right? I have all of my runs saved, every single one. I just haven't uploaded them and they will probably be uploaded to the internet at some point. But I don't think interest is high enough at this point for me to justify putting up runs that aren't personal bests. So that's why, for now, they'll just stay on my backup. Yeah. I mean, I do have, I do have plans for some potential special perks to certain people. In the future, you know, rewards, one might say, for people who take the extra step in supporting me. But we're not there yet. We're definitely not there yet. So, it has to wait. It's gotta wait. Just like me in this level. Gotta wait. Whole lot of waiting here. Ah. 
wonder how many times, wonder how many times it's going to take for me to beat this level. In fact, except I don't wonder because it's going to be this time. Definitely. That was bad timing. <laughs> I got a little greedy with the P-switch there. Ah, I wanted to, I wanted to optimize how much time I had, but it's greedy. It's greedy. And frankly, I've been doing fine with basically whatever amount of time that I've been giving myself. So I really didn't need to optimize the time that the P-switch was going, but you know, it's fine. There we go. There we go. Okay. You know, one thing I'm surprised they didn't add to this game through any of the updates. I mean, it's actually already in the game, but you can't actually use it. The stone. Because playing this desert level reminds me of the desert level where they had you, you know, reach the goal with the stone. And for some reason, it's just not available in the maker. In the course maker. You can play with it in the story mode, like it's in story mode levels, but it's not in the course maker as far as I can tell. So it's weird. It's weird that it's just in the game, but you can't use it in your own levels. That was not the best timing, but we'll make do. Oh, I was really hoping you'd kill the dry bones there, bud. No. No, no, I was supposed to wait there. Oh, boy. It's fine. It's fine. Not, uh, no, don't go. Wait for another cycle. I'm really surprised I didn't die there, actually. But then I died later, so it didn't really matter. You know, it's fine. It's fine. One other thing I've been thinking about is <laughs> more or less during this whole year long quarantine that's been going on. I haven't really been bothered too much by it. And in fact, I, I feel like out of everyone, I'm probably one of the least bothered by it. Because frankly, I, I don't tend to go a lot of places, even when I when there isn't a deadly respiratory disease going around. I tend I don't tend to get out too much. And that's not necessarily because, oh, oh I'm so sad. Nobody ever invites me to anything. You know, it's just because I don't frequently feel like going anywhere. Like I am more or less OK with spending the majority of my time at home. The vast majority of my time. But I think even I, even I am getting to the point now where I'm like, I kind of want to, I kind of want to do other things now. <laughs> I kind of want to do things. And part of that, part of that is because of these videos, right? Because a lot of the times I feel like I kind of start to run out of things to talk about in situations like this where I'm playing the same part over and over again. Uh, and I think that's. Having something to talk about is kind of all that keeps these parts the slightest bit interesting. So I feel like, frankly, and this I, I know I'm not unique in this sense, but I feel like once this once this is all over, once we've got this whole COVID thing under control. I feel like I'm actually going to start doing more things than I really ever did, probably. Well, that's not true. I was actually that's probably not going to happen because I was pretty active in middle school, high school when it came to like between Airsoft and going over to Jacob's house all the time. I actually got out of the house like almost every weekend back then, but <clears throat> but basically since high school, I feel like I'm going to be doing more with my time. And I mean, part of that's already happened because of D&D. &D. At least that was the plan anyway. We, we've still only had one session. Um, but I feel like, you know, it's 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 
if only to give myself more to talk about during these episodes. I kind of want to do other things, you know, like even if even if it's just, you know, going for a hike. And you know what? There's actually pl- a ton of good places to go hiking around here. So that's one of the perks to living in the middle of the woods. <clears throat> but like, you know, it's, it's it feels like it feels like I should definitely be doing more after this. You know, and maybe I don't know how much, I don't know how much of it will be like social. Cause frankly, I, <laughs> uh, to make myself sound antisocial, I do tend to tire of people relatively easily. Like to say I'm an introvert is accurate, but probably not <laughs> as accurate as to say that I am very much an introvert. In that I very much tire, like I I don't I don't have a very large social battery, is what I'm trying to say. It that or it just drains very quickly, one of the two. But like I can spend like if I spend like a few hours at a party, then I'm basically I'm I'm basically good on social interaction for like a month at least. <laughs> Like, I could not talk to someone for months, or not talk to anyone for months after that and probably be fine. In fact, I've kind of done that before. <laughs> uh, good old college. Go to a single party and then don't talk to literally anyone for, for a month. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that, that about describes how my college went. <clears throat> when I was living on campus, anyway. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm as I've stated before, I'm still technically in college, but which reminds me, I have some stuff I need to do to make sure everything's in order for next semester. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. So frankly, a lot of what I'm probably going to be doing after all this quarantine stuff is over, is probably just, like... I don't know. I don't know, like... Probably a lot to do with nature, really. Going for hikes. Maybe... I don't know, like fishing or something. I don't know. But a lot of... A lot of more natural stuff that's not necessarily hanging out with people. Because I know that's what a lot of people... I feel like most people who are who have been itching to get out due to quarantine are uh, they're they're itching to get out and hang out with people, which is not really not really my issue. You know, it's not that I here's the thing, right? I talk about how I don't have a large social battery. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I don't like hanging out with people. It just means I, <laughs> I can only really do do it so often and so much before I just kind of uh, I just I just kind of shut down. <laughs> like I don't get like angry or or I mean at worst I tend to get irritable when I've been around people for too long. So like I'm not I'm not really. I'm not really disruptive in any way. Like I can still sit there and keep my mouth shut, and as long as nobody's bugging me, then it's fine. But yeah, yeah, I I do enjoy hanging out with people. It's I can't do it too much. Yeah, it's weird. It's actually not that weird, but I don't think it's that weird anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. What is weird is just to think that I'm kind of getting to the that I might be getting to the point that everyone else was has got to got to a while ago when it comes to isolation. You know, for a while I thought I might just be immune to it. And that, you know, it's it didn't. I could live forever on my own. 
without talking to anyone or doing anything outside of the house, basically. But turns out maybe not the case. Maybe I actually do need to need other people. Crazy, right? See, I was trying to get on top of the dry bones, but that's not how that jump works. I have to jump next to the dry bones and then jump again to get on top of them. Mm. Mm. It's fine. Too early. Too early. That was another one where I just tried to do it by feel and it didn't it didn't work. I should probably stop doing that. Hit. <clears throat> okay. Try again. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait, so there's two arrows there, which makes me think that he actually wants you to go fast through this section. <laughs> but it really doesn't seem like it behooves you to do so. So... I'm curious. Like, how many people actually took this section quick, and how many actually just waited because really in this room there's no reason to go fast uh, I tried to do it again I tried to jump super high man I just really wish those crushers were just like one block higher that would be nice that would be nice so I could get a nice full hop without actually hitting the crushers that would be nice Ow. I hit the blue block, and that's why I died. Also, I wasn't doing it on the right cycle. I mean, I could make it work on that cycle, but I wasn't really doing it on the right cycle. Oof, and I need some water for my throat. Because ah, we are getting to that point in the batch where my throat starts to uh, self-destruct. So, yeah, uh, that being said, we're going to give this one more try. Do, 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 wait, 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 and go. There we go. Okay. And go. There we go. We've got it. Not even a problem. time because uh <laughs> as for this episode that's a wrap Call a pyramid of patience because the people watching have to wait.